Everything that has to do with filmmaking and photography costs a lot of money. But the problem is that a lot of times beginners don't have the money that's needed to get started. So in this video, I'm going to be going over five digital filmmaking tools that are completely free so you can improve the quality of your videos without spending any money. And before I get started, I just wanted to say that everything I'm talking about in this video is something that I either use now or have used in the past. So the first one is YouTubers color grading LUTs. And usually this is the part in the video where someone would say, download my free LUT pack, but that's not what I'm gonna say because I don't have any. My point is that you can go onto filmmaking channels like Igor Pieta or Nicholas Crystal, and they actually have like creator kits sometimes you can download and they have like a couple of free color grading LUTs. Those can be really useful a lot of the time, so all you usually have to do is like go onto one of their YouTube videos where they talk about it, go on the description, and then click on the link and download it. It's usually like a sample pack of the other things they have to offer if you wanna buy it. But one thing I have to say about how to use LUTs is you have to be very careful when color grading with them because a lot of the time what will happen is they're way too strong in one area and you completely mess up your footage. So you have to make sure you keep control over the white balance and all that. So just be careful when you're editing footage with LUTs. And that leads me into my next tool, which is actually DaVinci Resolve. If you've been watching any kind of filmmaking videos for even just a little while, you know what DaVinci Resolve is. It's a paid video editing software that has a free version that is almost as good as the paid version according to a lot of different people. It started a long time ago as a color grading software only, but then broadened to be more of just a video editor in general. So since it did start out as a color grading software, what it's well known for is its color grading capabilities even in the free version, which is the one you'd probably want to download. The great thing about DaVinci Resolve though is if you ever want to upgrade to the paid version, there's no payments. All you have to do is one down payment of like 300 bucks, I'm pretty sure. But I don't want to talk about price after all this video is about free stuff. From what I've heard, I've never used Premiere Pro, but from what I've heard a lot of people say that DaVinci Resolve doesn't crash as much as Premiere Pro, because it has way less bugs and issues. And since I'm talking about editing a video, might as well talk about planning your videos. So that leads me into number three, which is Notion. Notion is basically a free notes app. Notion is great for planning a shot list for your videos or a script for your videos, or really even anything in everyday life. It's just a great notes app and a great place to keep all your thoughts. I use Notion to plan every single one of my YouTube videos. So the way I plan my YouTube videos in Notion is first I just take a category or like a page that says YouTube videos and then I put my new video as a page inside of that page and then I go in and I script the intro word for word because that is a pretty important part of the video and then I just make the rest of the video with bullet points and then sub points under those sometimes. For example, for this section of the video, this is what I have typed out in Notion. I have a bullet point that says I use it to plan all my videos. Then I have a sub point under that that says I plan videos by first intro word for word, then bulleted list with sub points. So that's just a little behind the scenes to show you how I use Notion in my videos. But you can really use it however you want. And now moving on to the fourth thing, which is actually Slipstream. Slipstream is basically a music licensing platform where it has a bunch of copyright free music and you can get five free downloads a month if you use it. Which I think is enough for most people. If you're stacking up a library after a few months, you'll definitely have enough to last for a long time. Especially if you're making YouTube videos and you have like ones you reuse in every video. Slipstream has a pretty good variety of music and songs you can choose from. And I also say that they have a pretty decent flow of the way you can find a song you want just by the different categories. It's nothing crazy, but it is pretty good. It's better than getting copyright strikes on YouTube for your music or having unhappy clients because they can't post their content onto social media. Now the fifth one is also about audio, but it is Adobe Podcast. Adobe Podcast is free with limitations like 500 megabytes max file size and one hour total daily limit of audio you can upload to it. It's basically an audio enhancing website. So you upload your audio file, it enhances it, and then you can download it and put it back in your video. But I do have to say it works sometimes and then sometimes it really just messes up your audio. You really just have to test it out and see if it works for the audio you have. Keep in mind though, Adobe Podcast does give whatever audio you upload to it kind of more of like the podcasty sound, if that makes sense. It makes it sound like you're a lot closer to the microphone. So that is all the tips, but there is actually one bonus tip I'm gonna give, and this is the last free thing, which is YouTube. Everyone has access to it, 
It's how I learned everything I know about filmmaking and photography, and you can too. There are actually a few channels that I watched a lot when I was trying to learn as much as I could about filmmaking and photography, and they were channels like Tomorrow's Filmmakers, Full-Time Filmmaker, and Peter McKinnon. Those are just a few. There were more that I watched, and there are a ton more out there that you can learn from. All you have to do is do a little bit of research. The one thing you have to be careful of though is I feel like looking for YouTube videos about filmmaking can be kind of hard because sometimes the videos are just not good. So you have to find the channels that are trustworthy and actually upload good content. Because otherwise you're just going to be wasting a ton of time and only getting a little bit of value. Well, I hope you actually use some of these free things I just mentioned. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Also, huge shout out to the channel right here. It's where I got the music at the end of this video from. Make sure to go check it out.